Hi students, I'm teacher Madeline. Welcome back to another science lesson for class 3. Well, it is the month of June, the monsoon season. If you look out your window, you will notice there's a lot of greenery. This greenery is nothing but plants. Now, do you know that all trees, whether big or small, started off as a tiny little seed? Well, there's a small video here for you to watch, to enjoy it. Wow, so a tree is a plant too. My favorite plant is this tree, because the tree school is in it. My favorite is the dandelion. Hey, that's my lunch. <laughs> you know, finches really do love to eat dandelions. It's so fun to watch the tree schoolers discover their favorite plants. They're all so different. But did you know that every plant, no matter how big, or how small starts out as a tiny seed. Every seed, yes, everyone has a tiny plant inside. A tiny plant and a little food to help it open wide. When placed in soil and watered right, a little seedling grows. The roots will reach down low. The roots will then take hold The plant finds its way through the soil It somehow knows which way to go It pushes and reaches and stretches Getting stronger as it grows So grow, little seed, grow Grow, little seed Everyone has leaves on either side the Leaves then open wide To gather air and light All vegetables and every fruit All flowers and all vines And every single tree Each started as a seed The plant finds its way through the soil It somehow knows which way to go It pushes and reaches and stretches all have enjoyed the video. Well, plants are living things. They grow in different shapes and sizes. Plants require air, water, sunlight and nutrients from the soil to grow and survive. If you notice plants, whether they are big or small, you will notice that they have a similar structure. In today's lesson, we will cover up and learn the different parts of the plant, how each part functions. Now, parts of a plant. Now, the, pl the plant is divided into two main parts, the root and the shoot. Now, the part of the plant that grows below the ground is called the root. And the part of the plant that grows above the ground, it is called the shoot. Now, the shoot consists of stem when we talk about small plants and trunks when we talk about big trees leaf, flower, fruit and seed. Now first we will learn about roots. Roots are the main part of a plant. They hold the plant steady and they take in nutrients and water from the soil. Now the roots are of two types. One is the tap root and the other is the fibrous root. We will learn about tap root and fibrous root by watching the next video. There are two types of roots. The first one is the tap root. Tap root has a main root or a central root from which small thinner roots arise. Plants such as beans, carrot, mustard, mangoes, beetroot, coriander have tap root. Here is a tamarind plant, a coriander plant and a carrot. They all have a tap root. Take a look at the coriander plant. It has a thick main root and small thinner roots arising from the sides. 
Now, some tap roots like carrot, beetroot, turnips, etc., are consumed by us. The next type of root is the fibrous root. Fibrous roots are many thin, bushy roots growing at the end of the stem. Plants such as the grass, rice, onion, coconut, banana, wheat, etc., have fibrous roots. Take a look at the roots in grass and the spring onion. They both have fibrous roots. Their roots are thin and bushy and they grow at the end of the stem. The next part of the plant that we are going to learn is about the stem. The stem grows above the root. Here is another video where you can learn about the stem. The stem is the upper part of the plant. It grows upward from the root. The stem holds the plant straight and carries water and nutrients from the roots to other parts of the plant. Leaves, flowers, fruits grow on the stem. Hard, thick and strong stems are called trunks. Trunks are found in mango, people and banyan trees. Climbing plants like money plant, pea, beans etc. have weak stems. They need support to grow. Potato and ginger are stems that grow below the ground and hence they are called underground stems. The next part of the plant is the leaf. The leaf is green in color. The leaf provides a shade. It also is the food factory of the plant. Now here we are going to learn about the structure of the leaf. Now, the first one, the stalk of the leaf is called the petiole. Then we have the main vein or the midrib. The next is the side vein. We have the flat, the flat thin part of the leaf is called the leaf blade or lamina. The leaves have stomata, which are tiny holes in the leaf, which take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. The stomata can be seen only with the help of a microscope. Now, the green substance present in the leaf is called chlorophyll. Now, this chlorophyll helps to trap sunlight, which is needed for the leaf to prepare its food. Let us go back to the structure of the leaf. Yeah. The stalk of the leaf is called the petiole, the main vein or the midrib, this is the side vein, stomata, leaf blade or lamina and the green substance present in the leaf is called chlorophyll. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Before I end the video, there's a small activity I want all of you to do. Since we've learned about the parts of the plant and the structure of the leaf, I want you all to go in your garden and try to identify the different parts of the plant. Now, another thing you can do is take a leaf and try to identify the parts of the leaf. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll be back soon shortly with my next video. Till then, keep learning. Thank you.